Welcome back to another video here at Cover All Joe. Today we'll be working on the Civic. I recently went to the Junker and got a door better than the one they had. Got this hood, which still needs to be installed. Still got tidy up the interior. And also, I left the windows open and it rained hard here in Texas. So it got a little flooded inside, but it's okay. It doesn't have carpet anyways. And because of that, I decided to go ahead and dry it up, clean it up, prep it, sand it, and throw some paint on it with some textured bed liner to give it that nice clean look without carpet. So let's try it out. Also got a few things to button up on the exterior, like the side skirts are falling off, the front lip came off as well. So stick around. But one of the things I wanted to upgrade or fix is the shifter boot area. This was automatic and that opening is bigger than the manual Civic. So we have a parts car here. I'm gonna go see if I can cut that one off and adapt it to here. As you can see, they're already done a little ghetto patchwork. Mine's gonna be any different. Probably do rivets as well. Just so I won't get all that outside heat coming into the car. So let's check it out. It's pretty convenient when you have a parts car. You got one back here in the, the bone yard. Let's go ahead and try to cut off the shifter area. Here we have the piece. It got bent up a little bit. I have to give it form so it fits the tunnel better. And also have these holes I'm gonna drill out and use them as guides.
here you can see the holes where I'm gonna drill and that should line up with the factory holes on this car so I can use them to align it bolt down and rivet making the holes to align and using a step drill make it a little bigger so here I have the bolts just inside to align it now that I know it's straight and it's squared off with the front I'm gonna use rivets as the the patch here on the other side now I'm gonna grind off the lip that the factory tunnel has just so it lays flat and to avoid any fumes or heat coming through I'm gonna use some of this uh, gasket maker and these self-tapping screws to hold it in place while I drill and rivet the piece So the idea behind all this is, since I don't have the original carpet, might as well make it look a little sporty. So I want to make it make it look clean, um, black, and I'll throw a layer or two of bed liner. So that gives a little texture, um, texture look, and it's durable and it's good to to clean, easy to clean and maintain. And right now it's dried, but as you can see in that one, it's pretty rusted. I bought some paint that's meant for rust prevention and everything. So I'm gonna get that as clean and as scuffed up as possible. And then I'm gonna go, I'll go ahead and paint all this from here all the way to the front and just leave regular floor mats in the near future. Just to give it a little more sporty look. But that's it for tonight. Uh, got dark on me. And it's still a little humid. Wanted to dry completely. And I don't have a vacuum. So I just did the old school with a rag and a bucket. So we'll get back at it tomorrow. Alright. The next day. It dried up pretty good. So now we gotta go ahead and clean up. Go ahead and wire brush it and scuff it and get ready to paint.
Now she's all clean, prepped, maxed off, taped. I put a little bit of a plastic covering on the dash and the glass to avoid any major overspray. Now let's get ready to prime and paint and bed line it. All right, so we're ready to paint. Got my direct to metal primer, bed liner, and black rust protection paint. And since there was rust, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the rust protector. Just like a primer, fast drying. And then we got the bed liner product, which will give it that nice texture look and protection. Then I'll hit it with a little of the satin black brush protector. 
Oh, safety first. Let's put on the mask, gloves, and let's check the cans. She's painted. I only had a chance to put maybe a little over one coat of the bed liner. That really runs out quick. But I managed to get it textured and I just sprayed the rest with the black rust protector. It should be a satin black, so it might take a while before it dries up the final color. But I like it, it looks clean. Now all I gotta do is put some floor mats and that's pretty much it. Just keep it like that. Well, with that's drying, let's go ahead and fix this. Just to kill some time while the paint dries. Well, those side skirts ain't falling off no more. I'm missing a few clips, but I used the one I got and I used some tapping in the bottom to hold them together. They ain't going nowhere. Same with the front lip. So that's good for now. Still letting the paint dry a little more. Gonna go have some lunch.
There you have it. She's finally done. Interiors are all set. But first, let's change the attire. Now we're set. Well, we did it. We did the set explore. Nice black, clean, textured, race car looking interior. For the time being, um, I also installed the radio real quick. It didn't have a radio, I have one laying around, so I just went ahead and installed it real quick. And also a few trims that were missing, got from the donor car from the back in the boneyard. But now she's looking pretty. Now she's about 70% done in interiors. Still got a few other things I'm gonna do eventually, like the headliner and a few other details here and there to button it up and make it look really nice so i look i'm going forward more like a track vehicle so until then it's gonna look like a track vehicle but it's not gonna perform as one yet and i also got the front lip and the side skirt all sorted out and like always if you guys like the content please consider subscribing and don't forget to share and like the video also, if you got any comments, suggestions, or any questions, put it down below. Thank you again for watching. Cover all out.